Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today's VBA tip is on how to log an audit trail. This is potentially useful if you're sharing a spreadsheet with lots of people and you need to be careful about who's doing what. So here's the example. Here's our data. We've got some names and how much they cost. Maybe this is a, an HR spreadsheet. So Bob, let's say we reduce his rate to 60 and we hit enter. <clears throat> let's have a look at the log sheet so what we've got is the name of the person who changed the cell the cell they changed so in this case C10 from the previous value to the new value we could also go and change the name um, so Ray and have a look what happened there change B10 from Bob to Ray or we could enter something new like uh, Charlie 100 and in this case it just displays a blank you can code that in if you want and that as well so let's have a look at the code that we need to do this sheet 1 it's in the sheet 1 module of the workbook because this is sheet 1 We've added a new sheet called log, and all we're doing is every time we do change something here, we're logging that on this sheet. We create a variable called previous value. Now let's find out how that is set. So if I put a breakpoint here and I change the value, sh sorry, change my selection, let's select Nick. So when I s change my selection, previous value is set to Nick okay so I step through there now if I change this to um, Bob the worksheet change event is then fired <coughs> we know what previous value is it's Nick so if target dot value target is what I've just changed it's the actual cell I've just changed target.value is Bob so if Bob is not equal to Nick well it isn't so then we need to log it so we say sheets log dot cells 65,000 well that's just a, a large number so we're going down a lot of cells and then we we do end Excel up what that does is it takes cell 65,000 in the first row uh, column and then it it basically goes straight upwards until it finds the next occupied cell and then it offsets that by one so it goes to a 65,000 goes there and then it's the equivalent of pressing control and the arrow key upwards and then offsetting that by one so it will always go down there to the next cell so then we say that dot value is application dot username that is set under in Excel 2007 under Excel options popular and then username should be tools options general in uh, Excel 2003 and then you add some text change cell and then target dot address that's the cell you've just changed from previous value to new value let's see how this works I step through that, boom, F8, and then hit F F5 to exit. So there we go, very quick and easy logging, not a large amount of code, and could be quite useful if you're sharing a spreadsheet with lots of people who often mess it up. So uh, you've been listening to excelexperts.com.